Hi, I'm John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2016. I'm at the 3D Systems booth right now talking with Tara. Now, Tara, tell me a little bit about your role at 3D Systems and then a little bit more about the machine we have behind us. Sure, all right, so uh, I am a product manager of Color Jet Printing, also known as CJP. And right behind us, we have what we are calling CubeJet. And this is uh, our attempt at trying to make CJP more affordable. Um, and try and get it to people that have been really interested in doing full color printing, um, getting into a figurine business maybe, but that our price point was just not where it needed to be for them to be able to get into it. So CubeJet is, um, you know, we're looking at a market that's uh, around the 10,000 mark. It is full color CMY capability, so that's cyan, magenta, and yellow. And it is using um, a water-based binder and a color from a HP 57 head, and you're laying layer by layer with a uh, plaster-based powder, okay. basically. So I know that this printer was first announced a couple of years ago, and now we actually get to see it running here at the show. So it sounds like a lot of progress has been made in yes. the past two years. Yes. So um, I, I know that there's been some uh, buzz about this for, I, I believe this is maybe the third year. <laughs> um, but yes, there's a lot of progress. Uh, I have uh, personally uh, four of them at my office that I've been testing out for the last several months. Um, you know, we are making very big strides uh, in the company as a whole that we are only, you know, going from one step to the next based off of the success that we're seeing. So uh, right now we're in internal beta and we're about to go into external beta next month. Um, and you know, uh, we'll have to see, um, you know, a really awesome success rate with external beta before we move to the next step. But we're definitely making some huge progress. We're pumping out parts now, and we're seeing some awesome capability with this little guy. So uh, I'm 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 proud to be his little mama at the moment. <laughs> so what is the uh, what's the approximate build volume on this printer? So uh, this one is 150 millimeters by 200 by 150. So approximately six by eight by six. And then for post-processing something like this, uh, it doesn't seem like there's any post-processing post equipment within the printer, so what other pieces are, would someone be needing to, right. to be able to work with this? So um, in terms of additional accessory units, we are going to be offering a uh, what we're calling a cleaning station, which is to do fine depowdering. Um, the gross depowdering that we would call when a build is first completed would be done within the printer. Okay. Um, and that's so excess powder just gets recycled back in um, so that there's no material waste. Um, then so that you'd have the cleaning station for fine depowdering. Uh, we're also going to be offering um, a, a downdraft table, a very cute mini version okay. <laughs> um, for somebody. So if they're interested in doing um, infiltration with our product called Color Bond, and that really offers the, the most amount of strength uh, that we offer today. Um, that would be a good accessory unit for that. Uh, and then we're also going to be having a, uh, a wax dipping station. And okay. so that can be either used as an infiltrant or it can be used as a secondary post processing just to make it look super slick. So, what are some of the things that really enabled you to come up with this price point for the printer. Uh, it, this is a, a similar build volume to some of the more expensive systems, but it seems like it has a much smaller footprint and of course the lower price point. Right, so the way that we were able to do that, and because that was honestly our, our, our first and primary goal was, okay, we really need to try and get this down. So some of the things that we were able to accomplish was um, removing the entire vacuum system that we have in the larger format printer. So the larger formats are really more geared towards high volume production. Um, so this is a much more manual process than with those larger formats. Um, you know, as you mentioned, the, the build uh, volume is a little bit smaller. Um, you know, we are only doing the CMY capability. It doesn't have the black channel. Um, so, you know, we were trying to be very mindful about keeping a small footprint as well uh, to try and make it office friendly and affordable. All right. I think that's all I have for questions, but I really appreciate your time. Oh, it's no, great. Pleasure. It's really fantastic to see this printer up and I'm running and functional. Yeah, it's looking great. Oh, so, awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. So thanks again. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>